mentioned at the top of the show, when I think of vintage, what immediately comes to mind for me are the crafting techniques that my mother, Elaine, dreamed up starting back in the 1950s and the 1960s. One of my favorite techniques is eggshell mosaic, but I have a little confession for you. I must tell you that I haven't had much experience in playing with this technique because it seemed like it was a lot of very small, small pieces of eggshell on a big crafting surface, and I really never wanted to tackle that. So with my vintage-inspired technique today, I downsized it, brought it down into easy-to-complete size to create an eggshell mosaic bracelet. As a matter of fact, it was so easy, I decided to create two. The first step in creating your eggshell mosaic is to collect your eggshells. You can use white or brown eggs depending on what effect that you want to create in your finished project. I'm a fan of brown eggs. These I boiled and then took the shells off of the egg. And what they've been doing is actually soaking in water overnight because that helps you remove the membrane that's inside the eggshell. You can see here when I pull back, we can actually remove that membrane. If you don't remove that membrane and you go to glue these pieces down, the membrane will stick to the glue, but the eggshell won't. So just peel back and check to be sure that you have all of the membrane removed from inside the eggshells. Once you've removed the membrane, just take these shells and put them on a piece of paper towel and let them dry overnight. Here are some shells that have been drying overnight, and you can hear that they're dry because they have a very crisp sound to them in the bowl. You will want to start to break them into pieces to use for your eggshell mosaic. For the bracelet that I'm creating today, I'm just using a resin piece for the base. You can certainly use wood or other hard surfaces to glue your eggshell pieces on. The next step is to apply your tacky glue to the surface. And I just use my finger to spread it around. You want a nice, even coat all the way out to the edges. There are a couple of different techniques that you can use to apply your eggshells. First, it's just laying down the individual pieces, very much in a regular mosaic pattern. Or you can take some of your larger pieces, place them down, and press them with your finger and you'll hear them start to crack and that pushes it right into the glue. If you want to you can move them around a little bit to give them some space in between but that covers up a large area at one time. Don't worry if some of the pieces hang over the edge slightly you can fix that once the glue has dried. Continue to add your eggshell pieces until you have the pattern that you want on your piece. Use those little tiny pieces to go in between some of the larger pieces.
If you don't like handling these small pieces of eggshell, just use some tweezers. And that way it'll be easy for you to place the eggshell pieces right where you want them. As you can see, I've left some of these pieces hanging over the edges. And as I mentioned, I can wait till the glue is dry or I can break them off now. Any of the sharp edges we can sand after the glue has dried. Now that you have all of your pieces glued in place, set this aside for a couple of hours to dry or let it set overnight. Now that my eggshell pieces have dried completely, it's time to color them. Before I color, I'd like to check my edges to see if there's any pieces hanging over. I see that there is a piece here, so I am going to break it off just with my fingernail. And we can come back and sand if there's any sharp edges that are left. I'm using alcohol ink to color and I apply my ink directly over the entire surface. Continue to color each of your pieces the same way and let the alcohol ink dry completely. Once your alcohol ink has dried completely, it's time to sand back some color. And I take a sanding block and lay it on the table and run my piece over the surface of the sanding block. and you can see how that starts to lift some of the color. Be sure that you ink the sides and the back of each of your jewelry resin pieces. And then my final step is to add a beautiful, clear gloss finish to the top. You can use the type that you apply and it just dries overnight to that clear finish. Or you could use the UV glossy finish where you put it under a UV light, which accelerates the drying time to about 15 minutes. I love the look on how that really brings out the texture and design of the eggshell pieces while giving it a smooth finish. What I also did is I took just white craft pearls and I also inked them up with the same color of alcohol ink so that they would match perfectly to create my bracelet. And because they have that beautiful pearlized finish to them, the alcohol ink also picks up and reflects that pearl so you can make a beautiful coordinated color bracelet. I have used my beading wire and some beads and a closure to finish off the bracelet.